The positive number A is 2,241% of the sum of the positive numbers B and C. And B is 83% of C. What percent of B is A? So we're given that A is 2,241% of the sum of the positive numbers B and C. So that means A is equal to 2,241 over 100. This just converts the fraction into decimal form times the sum of B and C. And we're also told that B is 83%, so 83 over 100, times C. So it's 83% of C. Okay, so let's use this equation, the second one, and plug this value of B Or actually, let's rearrange this equation here so that we can write C in terms of B. Then we'll be able to plug that value of C into the first equation so that we'll only have B's in this equation. Then we can find what percent of B is A. Okay, so we can just rewrite the second equation to just 0 0.83 times C. And then we can divide both sides by 0.83. So we'll get C equals B over 0 0.83. So now let's plug that into the first equation. So now we're going to be using the first equation, which says that A is equal to, we can just simplify this to 22.41 times B plus B over 0 0.83. So because we wrote this, rewrote this equation to write C in terms of B, now when we plug this into the first equation, we have A in terms of only B's, no more C's. So now let's just simplify this down. So we're going to have A equals 22.41B plus so 22.41 divided by 0.83, that's just equal to 27B. So 22.41 multiplied with B over 0.83, we just do 22.41 divided by 0 0.83 in our calculator, and we get 27B. So now let's combine those two together. So 27 plus 22.41, that's equal to 49.41b. So, a is equal to 49.41b. So, that means that we can convert this back into our, well, what looks like percent form. So what we'll do is multiply this coefficient by 100 over 100. So we'll get A equals 4,941 over 100. If you simplified this, you would just come back to this. But this helps us see that A is 4,941% 40, of B. So the question asks, what percent of B is A? So A is 4,941% of B. So the correct answer is D.